Hi everyone, my name is Federico Tartarini and in this video I'm going to show you how to add citations to your Beamer presentation. So the first thing that you need to do if you want to add citations to your Beamer, pre to your Beamer presentation, you need to use a package, okay? So the package that we are going to use is the package called BibLatex, okay? So we can add it here at the top of our document. We can add it here after the set Beamer color, and we can add it here before the title page. If you want to see how I got to this stage, to this presentation here, please check my previous video that I've uploaded on uh, YouTube. But uh, you can also watch this video if you want to just see how to add a citation to your uh, presentation. So the first thing that we need to do, as I mentioned, is we're going to add uh, a import uh, citation uh, package so we use the command uh, use package and uh, we need to have uh, uh, this one here because we want to have uh, uh, specify some variables here so we want to use uh, the backend so we need to type backend equal to Bieber and another thing that we want to change and we want to add so we want to add the name of the package that we want to import so it's bib latex so we have added our option here and we have added bib latex another thing that we need to do is to add a new file here and a new file is going to be a, a bib file which will contain our references so we're going to call it main.bib doesn't really matter the name of the file as long as later on here I will show you you import the right the right file so now we want to import that file into our document so we're going to add a bib resource so we press enter and here we specify the name of our file then we compile we make sure that everything is all right so uh, Overleaf is installing the package, so that's why it's taking a little bit of time, uh, but nothing has changed because we haven't added any reference to our document. Okay, so let's go down here after this page or this frame where we have added lists. So now we want to add a new frame, which let's say uh, references. <coughs> We remove this list here and say this uh, is uh, some text that we want to reference. References. Okay. So what do we need to do is uh, we need to import the references here in the main bib. So the easier and simple way to do so is uh, by using Mendeley. Okay, you select the citation that you want to import. For instance, this is one of the papers that I've written. You do right click, copy as, bib text entry, and you just copy and paste here. That's all. That's all the thing that we need to do. We don't need to do anything else. And this is the unique key. This key has to be unique. Uh, two entries cannot have the same key, but uh, Mendeley will ensure that that never happens. And uh, this is the key that we're going to reference in the text uh, when we want to reference uh, this publication. Okay? So let me add also another reference uh, to another paper. So let me add, uh, uh, for instance, uh, this one. Copy as, bib text entry. We go back here. Underneath, we add another one. Okay? So this is going to be the second key that we can actually add to our document. So let's go back here, let's compile the file, Control enter on Windows, and we can see that the file is getting compiled, and this is reference page. Actually, sorry, not references, let's say, let's call it introduction, because I don't want to confuse it with the bibliography that we're going to add at the end. So this is some text that we have want to reference, and then here we use the command site, and then tab, and here you can see actually the citations key that we can add to the document, okay? So we want to add a citation to this document, control enter. Uh, 
and you will see that the document is now compiling again and our reference will appear here okay so this is the first reference that we have added to the document however as you can see here the cursor is showing me that i can click on this number if i can click on this number nothing happens why nothing happens the simple reason why nothing is happening is because we haven't had a reference a frame at the end in which we are going to uh, show our uh, bibliography okay so in order to do that we just need to go to the end to need to go to the end of our presentation where there is nothing at the moment there is this slide this frame here which we are just copying and pasting so inside here instead of thank you for listening we're going to do print print a bibliography okay so let's press ctrl enter and is compiling and as you can see is going to add the reference since here at the end of the document okay so for instance one thing that i want to remove that is coming as default in mendeley i want to remove this url so let me remove this url let's compile the document again and i wish want to show you also a couple of tricks and nice things that you can actually uh, use to improve your citation style so the first thing that i want to show you which we can add at the moment is going back to the main text file here and we want to specify a couple of options inside here inside the frame so we don't need this second curly braces which will be the title which comes by default as you can see here references so we want to do a couple of things we want to do allow frame breaks breaks in in uh, in order that if you have a long list of uh, uh, if you have a long list of citations then they will allow to break into different frames and it can be more than one frame long otherwise it's going to be a problem and the second thing that we want to do is no frame numbering okay because we want to stop the numbering here in the in this last slide we don't want that if you have many frames uh, due to the fact that the references are more than uh, let's say two we don't want that uh, that uh, those get counted as frames so as you can see our presentation is now nine uh, uh, so the, the the slide number it only counts this, till this slide here thank you for listening okay so this slide here does not get counted in the total count of slides that's more or less what we want actually that's what we want that's the behavior that we want so let's go back here where we have cited the first paper let's go back here if you want to add another citation that's super simple you just put a comma and then the name of the other author that you want to reference you compile the document again and you will see that now you will have both uh, references here and before i showed you that uh, uh, is actually coming up uh, upside down because uh, yes is uh, in uh, alphabetical order so this uh, name comes before than the other so let me actually arrange this uh, in this way <coughs> so now the numbering also will be fine another thing that we want, might want to change in our document is that we want to change the citing style so we don't want to use this style and first of all i want to show you that if i click on this number now i will be redirected to the reference here in the references list uh, another thing that i want to show you so let me add a couple of more of references so deep text entry just to want to show you that uh, is uh, going to break into multiple frames so let me add another one copy as deep text entry okay so let's go back here to our document and we are going to add this one and uh, we are going to add uh, this one so now we have four references and as i told you before the each key has to be unique so that's very important as you can see mendeley has already taken care of that and i want to show you that here the references now they're breaking across two frames and everything is uh, and everything is fine uh, 
If you want to decrease the text size, so if you want to, um, uh, yes, so one other thing that I want to, okay, so if you want to decrease the font size here of the references, we can go here at the top, at the beginning of the document where we added the bib resource, and we can also add this comment. So at beginning bibliography, we can change the font size to small. Okay. If we do that here at the top, you will see that the font size in the references is going to be a little bit smaller. So that will be handy because you get more space. And of course, if you remove this URL that are getting like in by default, now we are going to be able probably to fit three references in the same uh, in the same frame. Another nice thing that I want to show you, uh, as you can see now, there are three in the same frame. So let's go back here where we added the references. So main text. So uh, I'm just losing. Yeah. Okay. So this zero, we don't want it. Um, this is the some text we want to reference. So let's say that we want to change the reference in style. So we don't want to have uh, this number here, but we want to have the author name and the year. So we can change that uh, um, that style here at the beginning when we imported the bib latex uh, package. So we can add a comma and add a new option, which is going to be style equal to author. Here, we compile the file again. And now you will see that instead of showing like the number, we are actually showing the name of the author and the year, which is fantastic. The only problem of this approach, as you can see here, is that uh, we don't want to have uh, like a citation like this. Uh, most likely we want to have uh, this one surrounded by a bracket, okay? So that's very simple to fix. And uh, if you want to do that, uh, we just have to go where in our document where we are citing here. So here where we have added our citation and we need to do parent site, okay? Parent site and that's it. Just compile the document again. And now we have our reference, which has been um, formatted in the proper way. The final thing that I want to show you is if you want to add this reference here in a footnote. So you might want to add this reference here in a footnote because it doesn't look very nice here in line with the text, or it's up to you. If you want to add it in a footnote, so there are a couple of ways of doing that, and I will actually show you and I will make a specific video on how to do that. So just please check my next video. But I guess the best way of doing that is replacing this parent side here. So let's do step by step. So this is the text that we have. And we add here a footnote, footnote mark, okay? And we add the number of the footnote mark that we want to have here. And then inside here, we're going to wrap all this citation here with a curly braces, okay? So we add the curly braces at the end, a curly braces here at the beginning. And then here we add put not text. Put not text. Okay. And here we add the number of the footnote that we want to have and we want to display. So everything, as you can see now, everything is looking very nice. I think it looks much better in this way. So we are citing. We are adding here a footnote uh, mark, and we are adding here our reference here in the footnote. The only thing that we need to change is go back from parent site to site, because I think if it's in the footnotes, it looks actually better if it's just uh, 
the text without a parenthesis around. But please, please check my next video because I want to show you how to put this footnote in line with the page number and how to use a couple of other, uh, um, like how to properly format footnotes in your, uh, um, in your presentation. Thank you very much for listening and uh, if this video was useful, please consider liking or uh, subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.